We're back working on the 240 again. Today we're gonna try to throw the dash in. A little bit of work to do with the uh, chassis harness under the dash, but Jeff just helped our other buddy take his dash or put his dash back in. So he took some pictures and kind of figured out where some of the stuff actually goes. So we're gonna try to put it where it goes. And then we got the dash over here. We got the cluster to go in. And then we also have some more of the trunks interior stuff that we can put in today as well. And I brought the shop back so we can clean it up a little bit. Here's the slick top headliner I was talking about. We were thinking about maybe just cutting it out, but I know there's some, I, actually in the comments of the last video, someone said, damn, I have a, a fucking sunroof headliner that I can't use and I need a slick top headliner, but he is not from around here, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I kind of do want to cut it up and, and just put it in there, but I know that's gonna look kind of trashy So I'm not really sure. We'll figure that out later. If anyone has one uh, That a uh, sunroof headliner and needs this headliner We could do a straight-up trade not in the best condition, but you could definitely clean it up. It's not like creased or anything Yeah, let us know <laughs> before I cut into it. I know that would uh Probably make some people mad. Just doing a little bit of cleaning up in here. We're still not really sure where everything goes, but that's really a bridge we're gonna cross when we come to it because we don't know shit about any of this. So uh, we do know where all the plugs go for the cluster. So we're gonna get the, those in and then get the plastic surround around the cluster and then throw the dash in. Maybe the dash first. I'm not really sure how it works, but we are gonna find out. That's what we're here to do. Find out shit and do it. First, we have to water the dash. We're rolling in the back. Oh, that's fine. Oh, we might have to take that out. so exciting, the dash is going in. There we go. I got mine in. If that's not a real car, dude, I don't know what it is. Turn the key, Jeff, start her up. All right, so we finished putting the dash in and these are all the screws we forgot where they went or uh, what they did. I don't think they, those all came no, out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, it's like when you accidentally finish like a project and you find a loose screw on the ground. Yeah, we we fucked up big time this time. Dude, we got an eighth of a tank in this hoe right now. Oh, is that a quarter? That's a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> we got a quarter. Wooey <laughs> doggy. It's like a fully functioning car now. Fully functioning, baby. <laughs> All right, guys, time to start her up. Dude, look at that. A whole dash, whole center console. We have the, we also have the glove box. It's just not in right now. Yeah, and we got some other stuff to put in the back also. Dude, it looks so good. Honk, honk. It's coming along. Coming along, real nice. Go uh, check out the website. Cop a shirt, help me uh, put some more money into this thing. That's pretty crazy. So while we were hunting for da or dash stuff, we found these speaker decks. So we're gonna go throw those in. We have the plastics and the carpet, I think, that covers these, which is pretty cool. Oh my God. Dude, I went to go grab and there was ants on the, all our, on the cup. That's crazy. Temptation cost them their lives. All right, so this is how the trunk is looking. We got, uh, like I said, we got those brackets to put in here and then we got the plastic covers and then I think there's a carpet that goes over the wheel wells back here or something. Another little plug for the sticks. Jeff's got one on his BMW. I really like these stickers. Possibly one of my favorite more skid stickers ever. We got uh, those plastics in there. Okay, now I'm gonna kind of vacuum out the whole car. Make it look pretty. Make it harder. Oh, damn. Me and Jeff have just been walking around the car for the past like 15 minutes and looking at it because it's so exciting. I don't know, I don't even know how long it was ago that I tore the interior out, but this car has not seen this kind of, uh, I don't know how you would put it, but it hasn't been back to a factory like this in a long time. So it's really exciting for me. 
And we were talking about how, yeah, we might have to pull some of this stuff out and make sure like some of the dash stuff isn't working or whatever. Probably have to pull some of it out and, uh, and make some little tweaks, but this is super motivating, right? So just getting it and knowing that it can look like this uh, again. And once I get my wheels, throw those bad boys on and start mocking the kit up again, the car's gonna completely change. I think honestly, the car's gonna be way better than it ever was, looks-wise. Gonna have a KA in it, so it's not gonna be like some insane Jay-Z car, but uh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it look really fucking cool. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited as I am. I hope this is motivating to you guys as well. So like, if you got a project car that you've been uh, kind of putting on the back burner, like I put this on the back burner for like three fucking years, go fucking do it, because it's very rewarding putting a car back together like this. I mean, you're gonna be really glad you did. It's a learning experience. It is a learning experience, and we're uh, we're definitely learning here. We I don't think we did everything right so far, and we're definitely going to run into issues down the road. But um, yeah, it's a learning experience. So treat it as that, and don't get too discouraged if something wrong happens, because you can fix it and then learn something new again. Chase your dreams. Yeah. Chase them hard. Jeff had the thought to just throw the <laughs> the slick top headliner in the car, and it just popped right in. So we just don't have a sunroof anymore. Yeah, I don't think I would even, I would just run it like this until I got a sunroof one. So if anyone's got a sunroof headliner, let me know. I'll trade you this one. Fits good, <laughs> but just gonna leave it in here for now. Completes the interior almost. I mean, we just need door cards now. Yeah. You basically, yeah, you really are just missing the door cards. That's crazy. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Might be a little short, but uh, that's kind of how it goes sometimes. Thanks again for watching. The car's coming along. I'm super excited. Uh, I know I keep saying this, but I've never been so, ex or I, I've been so excited, but not in a long time. So it's very fun and very hyped to keep working on it. And we're going to keep working on it. So stay tuned for the next episode and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.